Well, here's the little lawn sprinkler, and uh, they don't make these anymore, and parts aren't available. And you used to could get this gear of replacement in plastic or bronze, but now neither one is available. And I've looked on eBay and first one place to another and can't find anything. So this is going to be my next 3D printer project. Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, we're going to look into making a gear for our little uh, tractor lawn sprinkler. And uh, this gear, oh, it's probably 25, 30 years old. And uh, it had deteriorated in the sun. It was plastic and the parts aren't available anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna use my 3D printer and gonna see if I can build one. So y'all come on in the house and let's check this out. This was my, kind of my test unit on fitting it to the sprinkler. And it fit pretty good, but I think uh, I could have had a little larger diameter gear to take up some of the backlash in the gear teeth. And so for a test print, and then this is my latest one that I've made. I even incorporated a hole through the side so I could uh, slide the cotter pin to lock it to the shaft. it looks like that gear is going to do the trick. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, it's good to know that that pattern that I made is uh, going to work. And a little later when I get the right material to build it, I need some nylon filament to build it out of. And uh, that looks like that's going to be a win. So anyway guys, I'm real happy on how that sprinkler gear uh, worked on the little tractor sprinkler. And I tell you what, that just tickles me to no end. Uh, parts unavailable for that thing and now I've got a set of plans to build my own. So anyway, as always, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.